everybody, welcome back. It's Monday. You know what time it is. It's tea time. And this week in my collection, Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law is a hardcore punk band from New York City that formed around 1982. These guys were a lot of fun. They mix a lot of hardcore punk, ska, reggae, you name it, it's in there. These guys are nothing but a fun, good time. If you have never heard of them, please go check them out. If you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. I have one t-shirt in my collection, and uh, so we're just gonna get to it. When my band Law Biting Citizens was heavily playing back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, we got to play a show with Murphy's Law at 123 Pleasant Street, uh, in, I think it was February of 2004, and that's where this shirt comes from. This is just a simple, plain Murphy's Law design. Steamer trunk logo on the pocket, on the breast pocket, and then on the back, uh, you can tell what that is. I really love this shirt, and I really love this band, but I pick and choose when I wear this one uh, because I had a little bad luck with it. I was on my way to work one morning, and I was in a car accident on the way there, and so I don't wear this shirt when I'm driving anymore, but I love the band, and I still love this shirt. I didn't get into Murphy's Law until about 96-ish, uh, when they played with my friend's old band Dragger Man at Pleasant Street, uh, their album Dedicated had just come out, and that is still one of my favorite Murphy's Law records to this day. They put out five full-length records so far in their career. Um, they have had numerous lineup changes with uh, Jimmy G. Uh, he is the only original member of the band left. So in the two times that I've gotten to see them in Morgantown, I have seen the lineup rotate. And I even have a poster from the last time we played with them. All the guys signed it. Uh, I think Larry the Hunter, uh, Pico was in it. Um, but they've had an incredible amount of musicians play in this band throughout the years. Uh, from everybody, uh, Todd Youth from Danzig was in Murphy's Law when I first got into them. He was on the dedicated record. Um, just you name it, go to their Wikipedia page, you can find it, because there's a huge list of people who play. Because the list of guitar players is huge, as well as the drum, uh, the drummers, and the bass players, and the horn players. But if you're looking for a good, fun time party band, definitely check out Murphy's Law, because they are the deal. I remember at the show that we played with them when I was in LBC, uh, Jimmy is just a riot. If he's not a front man, he should be a stand-up comedian. I remember him saying at that show that, I love my job, I get free beer, I get free food, I get paid to come and have fun with everybody. Because sometimes the commute's a little long, but it happens. I just remember that was, a, that was a really fun part of the night, besides him putting a black label box on his head as he passed out beers to the crowd. But these guys were seriously a lot of fun. If you've, uh, if you've never heard of them, go check them out. If you have heard them or seen them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They still play from time to time. Like I said, Jimmy's the only original member left but it's always a good time and everyone kicks ass. So thanks for tuning in guys. I'll catch you again next week with another one. Go check out Murphy's Law. I'll see you later.